Hi, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have configured RabbitMQ queue, exchange, and binding in our Spring Boot application. In this lecture, we will create a producer. Okay, and then in next lecture, we will create a REST API which will send a you know message to the producer, and producer will send that message to the RabbitMQ server. All right. In this lecture, we will create a RabbitMQ producer. Let's head over to the IntelliJ IDEA and go to Publisher Package over here. Right click on it, New, and then choose Java class. And let's give class name something like RabbitMQ producer. And hit enter. And let's annotate this class with add service annotation. Well, once we annotate this class with add service annotation, then this add service annotation will create this class as a Spring Bean and it will register in a Spring IOC container. Okay, so within this class, let's write the logic to send a message to the RabbitMQ broker. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fetch exchange and routing key values from the application dot properties file. So for that, let's use add value annotation. So let me first get the exchange exchange. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use add value annotation within the workload dollar within a curly braces. Let's pass the property name. So let me go to application dot properties file over here, and let me copy this property name. And the exchange value is Java guides underscore exchange, right? So we can get this value by using this property key. So let me go to RabbitMQ producer over here and let me paste the key. So similarly, let me copy this and paste it over here. So let me change to routing key and let me go to application dot properties file again. Let me copy this property key and let me paste it over here. Now we got a exchange and routing key values from the application dot properties file using add value annotation. Next, we need to use a rabbit template to send the messages. Well, as we know that Spring Boot will automatically configure a rabbit template for us. We just have to inject and use it. All right. So let's use constructor based dependency injection to inject a rabbit template class. So here, first create an instance variable private rabbit template. So make sure that you use a rabbit template from wg.springframework.amqp.rabbit.core package. And this is the rabbit template. And let's create the constructor. Right click, generate constructor, and then only choose rabbit template and click on OK. We have now injected a rabbit template in a rabbit MQ producer class. Okay, so this is basically parameterized constructor. And whenever a spring bean has a only one parameterized constructor, then we can omit this annotation that is at auto add annotation. Okay, so we can ignore or omit this annotation because spring will automatically inject this dependency whenever it will find single constructor in the spring bean class. All right, perfect. Now we have a rabbit template in place. Next, we can use a rabbit template methods to send the messages to the rabbit queue or exchange. So let me write the method here public wide and the method name. Let's say send message. Let's pass method parameter as message of type string. Well, within a send message method, we need to put a log statement, right? We just need to print the message. So in order to do that, first we need to create a logger. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a logger quickly private static private static final and make sure that you choose logger from org dot self 4 j and then logger equal to logger factory dot get logger and then pass the class name that is rabbit MP producer dot class perfect now we have a logger instance so let's call the logger instance over here and then call its method that is input method and then we're gonna use string dot format method to dynamically pass the message so here i'm gonna say message sent 
and then just use placeholder percentage yes okay and then pass the message okay so this message will be dynamically replaced with this placeholder okay perfect next let's use a rabbit template method to send a message to the particular queue so let's call the rabbit template object and then let's call the method convert and send so make sure that you choose this method that is convert and send it has three parameters first one is exchange second and routing key third is object okay so whenever we use this method to send a message to the queue we have to pass exchange and routing key all right so this exchange will basically use this routing key to you know route this particular object or a message to the queue all right i hope you got it so let's call this method and just pass the exchange so let's pass the exchange and then routing key followed by message okay perfect all right we are using convert and send method to send this message to this exchange and then exchange will basically use this routing key to route this message to the queue okay so this is the meaning of this particular method or api okay i hope you understood how to use this rabbit template method to send a message to the exchange and exchange will basically use this routing key to route this message to the queue okay this is pretty much how we basically write a rabbit queue producer in next lecture we'll create a simple rest api which will take a message from the client all right great i will see you in the next lecture